Hi, I'm Wei Kai Li from UCLA. I'm glad to introduce our recent work, Fast Inference of Removal-Based Node Influence. Let's begin with an interesting question. Who is the most influential Twitter account? Well, it depends. The most influential person in public opinion and fashion trends can be different. Traditional methods evaluate node influence based on a predefined propagation model, which cannot meet this demand. It motivates us to design a task-specific influence model with graph neural network. It might be difficult to directly evaluate the node influence with graph neural network, so we consider the influence of node removal. Here we use red and blue to represent two opinions. If we remove Alice in a parallel world, Charlie and Frank might hear less voice from the blue nodes and thus become red. Bob and Eve might no longer follow Charlie, and Eve might become blue. This is the influence of Alice. We first train a GN model on the original graph. Then we remove the target node, reapply the GNN to generate the new predictions which simulate the parallel world. Then we measure the L1 distance between the original predictions and the new predictions. Our target is to compute the node influence score for all nodes. A simple solution is to traverse all the nodes and to compute the influence scores. However, it faces a big challenge of efficiency. We propose an efficient approximation solution, NARA. Its general idea is to approximate the node influence by the first order derivatives and heuristics, and it can be combined with any common GNN model. Assume we are analyzing the influence of node R. We define FR as a summation of the output predictions of all the nodes except for node R. Then, we want to approximate the change of FR due to removing node R. Considering a typical GNN layer like this, we can approximate the change of FR in this formula by the first order derivatives. The three terms in this formula correspond to the three kinds of influence. The disappearance of the removed nodes embedding, the change of its neighbor nodes aggregation term, and the spread out influence on multi-hop labors. For the first and the third term, we make a rough assumption that all nodes are structurally and functionally equal. For the second term, we only consider the structural influence. By combining the three terms approximations and by extending the formula to previous layers, we derive this formula. Finally, by changing fr to the sum of the output of all nodes, we can approximate the influence of all nodes simultaneously. Although the method is quite intuitive, it performs well. For more details, welcome to look at our paper. Thank you.